Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to install the FSR3 mod on Cyberpunk 2077. First, you have to get these two zip files from LukeFZ's Patreon page. The link is in the description. And then, go to wherever you installed the game. Go to bin x64. Then open this file. And then find dxvk.conf. Drag it into the game directory. I've already done this, so I have to overwrite, but you don't. Now open the other zip file. Open this one. Then drag everything into the game directory. That's it. Now I'm going to show you some gameplay. I'm going to be using the Steam Deck preset, but with DLSS and frame generation turned on. Keep in mind that the performance in this video will be slightly worse than what you'll experience since I'm recording from the deck itself. It's actually more stable and slightly better when I'm not recording. See this weird, dark thing on the bottom in the corners? We're gonna fix that later.
Remember that weird thing earlier? That's actually the vignette effect. We can disable that using some mods. In the description, there will be two Nexus Mods link. Download the Disable Vignette and Crouch Vignette Effect Remover. Inside, there will be an Archive folder. Simply drag it to the game directory. There we go. No more glitchy vignette when turning the camera or driving at high speeds. Now this thing at the center of the bottom screen, that's just the side effect of the frame generation setting which we turned on to avoid glitchy UI. But don't worry, you can actually turn off frame gen after turning it on, so both the glitchy UI and the side effect won't be present, at least until you restart the game. If you want to leave frame gen on permanently to prevent glitchy UI, that's totally fine. At least now you know that there's a side effect when you have it turned on. As you see, after I've turned it off, the game looks so clean. No vignette and UI glitch in sight. That's it for this video. If you have any game that you want to see with this mod, just comment down below. And if you like this video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe. My name is Sarah, and I'll see you on the next video.